everybody always wants to know what determines value on diamonds because they go to the store and they, you know, one of them all jewelry stores and they spend $1,500 or $2,000 or $3,000 and then they come into a store and they're only getting hundreds of dollars and they don't understand. Well, the reality is many different things. What creates value is rarity and what something somebody's willing to pay for it. And so if you have a smaller size diamond that has many more flaws, it is certainly worth less than a diamond that is more rare, which is a bigger stone with better quality. So the better quality you get, as well as the size, is are two of the uh, determining factors. Yes. When you come to Nevada Coin Mart, you're only going to get expertise. <clears throat> I am a graduate gemologist from GIA. Let me show you the GIA diamond microscope. What we have is we have the diamond displayed on a 55-inch monitor. Now the reason that that is important is because we want to find all the flaws and we want to see if any of the diamond has chips. So this, we can zoom up all the way up to 60 magnification. So what we find... Um, I think about 40, 50 bucks. Is it's a small, tiny little chip. Okay? Now, that little chip doesn't make that much of a difference. No big deal. But the important thing is that we're able to look at it, we're able to verify it, and we're able to see exactly what we're able to do. Now, this needle in the center of the table, in the center of the diamond, is an identifying characteristic that will determine value. There are many types of inclusions inside of diamonds that will determine the value. And so a needle is a long, thin item, just like you would think of a needle, except it's black or it's white and it's inside of a diamond.